everybody welcome back to the seesaw and today we've got a mega haul for you so we've just got back we went into cambridge today it's the last friday before back to school so we had a couple of little bits we needed to still get for back to school supplies um and then we haven't had usually we go and have like a shopping day before we go on holiday every year and just kind of stock up on t-shirts and shorts and things like that for holiday we didn't do that so we hadn't really had a shopping trip um so we just went into several stores and rather than do individual videos for each store I'm just going to do a mega haul. Um, so first place I went to was Next for school trousers. Um, I do think it's worth paying a little bit more for the school trousers. I know all of the grocery store doors do them but I do find that these ones from Next do last a little bit longer. Having said that he'll probably go through the knee of them next week. But um, And the other thing with Next is now he has to have a kind of age, he's only 10 still but he still has to have a really at age 12 for them to have the light right length for um, leg length for him because he's so tall um, and next is one of the few chains that still does the little button um, enclosure once you get up to kind of age 12 13 they tend to stop um, and he would have to have a belt so tight around him if he didn't have those buttons in there so I grabbed two pairs now the ones he had before they went into lockdown do still fit him but they are just brushing the tops of his trousers, of his shoes, and they're a size smaller than this. So these go up a size, which means that we should get good wear out of those at least until um, hopefully after Christmas. But you never know with kids. Um, so that was the first stop. The second stop was Clark's for back to school shoes. Now, um, the back to school shoes or school, shoes in general i've always bought clarks for caleb i know they're more expensive um you know right from baby shoes they are more expensive and i know that not everybody can afford clarks um or start right as the other kind of big brand shoe but for me it was really important once i realized he was going to have quite big feet it was quite important for me that he had well-fitting shoes especially for school shoes um so that I knew that his feet weren't being affected by the shoes he was wearing. So we do buy other brands for like trainers and obviously football and rugby boots and things like that. And he does occasionally have shoes that are um, just for casual everyday shoes that don't have a brand. Um, although we do sometimes buy the Clark's kind of trainers as well if they have them in the sale. Um, we'll pick up a pair of those. In fact, the pair he's worn this summer have been a Clark's pair that we got um, back just before we went into lockdown. So a new pair of black back to school shoes, black shoes um, for, uh, for school which starts next week. Then we were in Debenhams and spotted this. So the Debenhams had a great... Um, sale on at the moment almost every clothing apart from the new kind of autumn fashion lines in every department was at least 20 percent off so it was 20 percent 30 percent 50 percent and i saw some at 75 percent so this was 20 percent off which is a kind of a gilet a padded um hooded jacket for caleb um nice bright colors really like the colors on this i think it was originally he's he actually by the time we got out of the store he wanted to put this on and took off the jacket that he had on and replaced it with this so he took the labels out but i think it was originally 28 pounds and then we got 20 percent off so what five between five and six pounds off so i thought that wasn't bad it's a really nice thick padded one um and it's got a kind of a fleecy lining to it but it is, um, it will be suitable for sort of going into autumn when he perhaps doesn't need a big jacket, but wants something in case there's a rain shower or something like that. So that was the first thing from Debenhams. Then I got him some more little boxer shorts and the trunk kind, which is what he prefers. These were all also 20% off. A pack of five trainer socks. So um, he's got longer socks ready for winter. But he did comment the other day that his trainer socks, the heel, was down along his foot somewhere. So five more pairs of those just to keep him going in those. And then a pack of five pairs of grey back to school socks. So again, all of those were 20% off. And then I spotted these two long sleeve t-shirts. So this one, which is... Um, 
Pro Gamer All Stars. So after reading that upside down and back to front was quite a challenge. But it's just a grey one with the white sleeves. Um, he likes this style of t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. So this was originally £10, so obviously it was £2 off, so that ran up at £8. And then this one, which is quite nice because it has kind of a hologram on the front. So it's got the gamer. I don't know if I'll be able to look. Good. It says game over if you just, there you go, if you just catch the light, it says game over and then it's got the game controller. So it's a bit of a hologram one and it's a lovely kind of teal colour and that was originally £14 so that one was just a little bit more expensive than the other one but really liked the, the colour of that. So a couple of long sleeve t-shirts for him to get into the winter and then also they had their gift lines 30% um, off of everything. Now somebody on my team at work has birthday coming up. Um, she's not originally from the UK, so she has quite an unusual name, but it begins with an E. Um, and I spotted these. So this is a little notebook with the letter E and a really nice smell smelling candle with the letter E. Um, this is actually really pretty. I did just open it and then put the box back together again. I don't know why I did that. I don't want it to look like I've ripped it open when I give it to her. But this is the little candle jar. It's really pretty and the colours go nicely with the with the theme um, between the two and that actually is a really nice smelling candle. That's a really pretty smell. Um, so those are for her. Then we went into um, is it Dykeman's shoe store. I think it's called Dykeman's. It's a kind of discount shoe store. Um, Caleb needed some black trainers for PE. The ones he had last year, which obviously didn't get a full school year out of them. He said they felt really tight when he tried them on. So we've had to go up another size. So he just picked out this pair of sketches. Um, these will be quite good because actually if he brings them home in school holidays, he can wear them for everyday trainers as well. The problem is, you know, he's gone up to a size six now, size seven for his sports boots, which is adult sizing. So you're paying adult prices instead of children's prices. Clark's, he still comes under their children's area, kind of teen, teenage area. But um, sports shoes, we have to look in the men's department for the smallest sizes. Um, so that starts to add cost. But he also bought, oh, here they are on the floor, from there, a pair of everyday trainers. Now these were really discounted down to £10. Um, they are VTY. I don't even know what that brand it's is. Brand. It's just a, it's their own brand, Tony thinks. Um, and they're not going to last very long because they are just quite um, canvassy, kind of lightweight trainers. But it will just be a pair of trainers for him to wear when we're out and about. These would look nice with a pair of jeans, actually. Um, he's got some other trainers that do still fit him, um, but starting to get a bit tight. So this is upper size for him. Um, and these will do for his kind of everyday trainers until perhaps October half term we might buy him a pair of branded trainers or, or he might have to wait until Christmas for that. Um, so then we went to good old Primark um, with a mega haul. So Tony went first and Tony buys a lot of these black, plain grey black um, t-shirts. He almost lives in these. He has some of the of logo t-shirts like superheroes and things like that star wars that sort of stuff but he really likes these plain black and gray t-shirts and from primark they are i think three pounds something each so he picked himself up five yeah. five t-shirts um just to stock himself back up again and again they're primark they don't last forever they fade after a few you know a few washes i would say but not it's not like quickly but they do fade after a while especially the black ones um but this just you know you can go and spend 15 to 20 pounds on five t-shirts every now and again and you stock back up so he stocked himself up with those caleb spotted this and he was desperate for he said he's always wanted one of these hats although i wasn't aware of that um, but they were reduced down to a pound because they were in their summer range so he's got himself a little straw it's actually quite a cute one it's blue and then it's got that kind of creamy not really a check almost like a herringbone pattern on it around the middle i'm not quite sure when he's planning to wear that but Next time he's 10. Yeah, next time the sun's out, I imagine that's what he'll be wearing. I just picked a couple of things up for myself. I really liked this. So this is just a, almost like a cheesecloth kind of material. 
um, back in the cheesecloth days. It's, it's really quite sheer, um, but it's long and I just thought this would be nice um, just for a casual to wear with a pair of leggings or, or even shorts in the summer or over a sundress in the summer. Um, this was reduced down to five pounds, so it was in their sale. Um, and I just actually really liked that. It was originally £11 and that would have been a good price for it, but for £5 I will take it. Um, and then I got this one, which is more of a work one, but it's got these nice kind of bat wing sleeves. So it's a short sleeve, but it's bat wing and I just think those are really comfortable if you're in the office all day. Um, it's got the little pleat down the front and again that was reduced from £11 down to £5. Um, and I, I wear a lot of black and white, blue and white, that sort of basic, a basic colour with a, with a white or cream coloured shirt is quite a common um, theme for me for work. So those, I think the cheesecloth one is more likely to be a casual one that I wear um, just if I want something to throw over. Well, it's, it's not really cold yet, but sometimes get a bit chilly in the evening, especially if we've been out and I've had like a, a vest top or a camisole top on. Just throw that over the top. Um, I'm actually quite looking forward to wearing both of those. Um, I then picked up three more little scrunchies for my hair. So I do when I'm not going anywhere. I usually have a bun in for work. But when I'm not going anywhere, I tend to just throw one of these in so that it's not as harsh on my hair. Um, and I'd, I'm down to one. You know, over, over time, the elastic goes in these. And I'm down to one navy blue one. So I quite like these colours for autumn. Um, they're kind of classic vintage colours really aren't they, it's that rose, the green and the brownie, kind of velvety brown with the lines in it, quite much those. And then I can't go to Primark without buying a pair of pyjamas, in fact I probably can't go anywhere without buying a pair of pyjamas, I love pyjamas. <laughs> um, but I've got a couple of pairs, I've thrown a couple of pairs out recently where the um, elastic had gone a bit loose in the in the bottoms or just they didn't they're a bit getting a bit scrabbly so I picked up a new pair and these ones from um, Primark they're usually about six pounds yeah these are six pounds I just quite liked that color as something different it's that kind of peachy um, corally color with the different colors picked out um, in the bottom there so definitely when it's work time I get home you know between six and seven and it's usually pyjama time for me. I don't usually put other clothes on unless I'm going out somewhere. So I do wear pyjamas a lot. <laughs> and so I like to have several pairs to choose from. And these are really quite soft. And I've I've had the um, these sustainable cotton ones. The last ones I bought from um, Primark were this sustainable cotton. And they were, really were comfortable and soft. Although the bottoms were the cotton bottoms. These are like the jersey bottoms. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting those on too. Um, and then I picked up for myself a pack of trainer socks too. It's the one thing I really don't have a lot of. Um, and if I'm wearing shorts or capris or um, something like that, you don't want to wear long socks with trainers. So um, I just picked these up. They are a pack of, how many's in there? Seven, wow, for £2.50. And lots of really nice bright colours to the on the contrast to the black. They're all black base and then the contrast colour. So um, that was just to stock me up really with socks. And then Caleb, a few more bits for him. So a pair of trackies. Again, he quite likes the um, Primark trackies. He's had some good wear out of some. The last pair he bought from there were a grey pair that had some of this camo on them. Not quite as much as this, was it? No. No. So, but these are quite nice. They're black with the little camo bits in the front and then they've got some writing down the side. I don't actually know what that says. I don't know if it actually says anything or if it's just lettering. <laughs> because it's on a strip, I can't actually straighten it out to see it. But again, they seem really, really long, but I think they will be fine and they will last him through the first part of the winter at least. And then a pair of skinny jeans. Again, he likes the skinny leg jeans because he's got a skinny leg. So every pair of jeans is skinny jeans, really, on Caleb. But we find if we buy anything other than skinny leg, they sort of look really baggy on him because his legs are so skinny. And so the skinny jeans work really well for him. So he picked out this lighter colour. They have lots of different ones of these, lots of different colours. And we've gone even bigger on these. These are 12 to 13 to get the length. 
um, and so he doesn't wear a lot of jeans, so I want them to last through the winter. Um, but they do, I did check, and they do have the adjustable waistband, so we should be fine. He has also got a belt, so if he needs to put a belt in, he can. It's a big old pile of clothes over here, better not fall down. And then he's got a lovely orange sweatshirt that we bought at the Gap last year when we went shopping at this time. We went to one of the outlet malls. Um, he, I bought him a lovely orange sweatshirt, Gap sweatshirt, which was got a football theme on it, I think, hadn't it? Mm. And I really like it on him. I really like that colour on him. And there was an orange kind of hoodie type of sweater at Primark, but he said he liked this colour better, this mustard colour. And he said he liked original because he's original. So this is just a hoodie, a basic hoodie. He's got a couple of gap ones that he wears quite a lot with the zips down. So you can wear them more like a jacket. This is just a true over the head hoodie. Um, and so he picked that one out himself. And then finally, we went to Poundland. Now the Poundland in the center of Cambridge it's actually not that big, surprisingly, for it being Cambridge. It's not a very big pound. And I'm, I have a feeling there's one further out, like on one of the outside shopping areas, out of town shopping areas that's bigger. Or it might be a B&M. But um, we don't go over to Cambridge very often. And this one is right in the middle near the main shopping area. So whenever we go, I do take a quick look. But they don't have the broad range of things that some of the pound lands do that I see from other people's hauls. So I always go in very excited looking for certain things. I never find them. But it's just some of the basics we stock up on when we are near a pound land. And a few treats. So Taylor picked out a pack of multi pack of Skittles, which is already opened up. He also picked these, which are the bacon flavoured wheat crunchies. He likes these, says they're his favourites. So, they're your favourites today, or are they always your favourites? Always my favourites. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, those are for him just to put in a crisp cupboard. Now, we've seen a few people talk about these. Um, they are called spongies. Now, they are a kind of pound land. I don't think they're made by Poundland, but they're kind of made for pound land. And they're a take on a Twinkie, which those of you that are in the States will definitely know what a Twinkie is. Those that are not in the States, you probably will have heard of them. Now, some of our grocery stores here do sell Twinkies, but for a pack of six, you're paying three, four, five pounds, depending on where it is and whether they've got an offer on them or not, which we would never do. I'm not that big of a fan. Neither is Tony, really, because he doesn't eat a lot of cake. But we wanted to get these just to give them a try. Now, Tony has tried one. And he says it is nothing like a Twinkie. So the people that we've seen saying, yeah, they they like Twinkies. I don't know what that's based on. Maybe having had them once or twice, but obviously if Tony was growing up in the States, um, a Twinkie was a, a regular treat. Um, and so he, I would trust his judgment. I haven't tried one yet, but he says they are not the same. They, they don't taste the same as a Twinkie. And also they don't have that much cream in them. And they don't have very much cream in them, which Twinkies have quite a lot of cream in. So um, if you're thinking, they are only a pound, so they're much cheaper. But if you're thinking that um, you've seen those other people with those and you might want to try them and you like Twinkies, don't be disappointed. Um, picked up some more of these. We did get some with groceries last week because they had them in Aldi, but they have the three packs for a pound in um, Poundland. And again, these are a great um, snack for Caleb to take for school. It's got to be something portable because he can't take a bag with him when he goes back to school. So it's got to be something he can easily carry with his water bottle. Um, so these will be fine because he can pop these in his pocket. Then Caleb also picked out the Weetabix crispy minis, the chocolate chip ones. These were two pounds a pound one. Two pounds. Two pounds, which is a lot cheaper than you get them at the grocery store. He does sometimes have these as a treat anyway, but he likes to just eat them as a snack. He doesn't like them with milk on. He likes to just eat them as a crunchy snack. Um, so that's again something else that he picked out, as was this, the biggest bottle of Oasis I've ever seen. So this I thought was perhaps squash, but it's not. It's the ready diluted Oasis. So the same as the small bottles, which are his favourite kind of drink to get if you get a meal deal or we stop to get a drink at a service station or something like that. But this is a giant bottle, so this will do him several servings. So just something different. I've never seen that size bottle of that before. And so that was for him. 
Um, another pack of AA batteries. These are two pounds at Poundland for a big pack. Um, you know, starting to head towards Christmas, I'd like to pick these sorts of things up. Um, a battery is a battery. These are Kodak batteries, so it's not like they're no name brand. Um, and they perhaps don't last as long though as a Duracell or something, but for two pounds for a pack of, you get one free. So how many in there? 11. Um, I, I would rather buy two lots of these than one pack of six of the longer lasting ones. They are pretty good, yeah. Or like then we spotted these, which is something else that both Caleb and Tony like, which is the Nature Valley Crunchy Canadian Maple Syrup Bars. Um, you will see in reason I bought the Aldi version of these for them to try, which they liked, they were fine. But these are quite expensive to buy at the grocery store if they're not on special offer. So this has 10 packs in it, which is 20 bars, because each pack has two little bars in it, and it was two pounds? Is it two pounds? Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. So that is much cheaper because normally you pay more than two pounds for a pack with how many do you get in a normal pack? Five, six, ten bars. Six bars. Twelve. Or six packs. Six packs, twelve bars. So this is ten packs, twenty bars for less money. So definitely worth picking up one of those. Um, Caleb needed some more mouthwash, and this is the Listerine one that's child friendly. It's not the kids one. But this one is child friendly because it doesn't have a strong, uh, um, uh, whatever that is in it, like, like the alcohol bit that makes it really strong and makes your eyes water. Doesn't have that in it. And he um, he had a mouth ulcer in the last week or so, so I want him to start using some mouthwash again to make sure he's brushing out or flushing out his, uh, his gums. Tony picked up a couple of little um, roll-on deodorants again. Poundland, places like that, the best place to get this sort of stuff from. They're exactly the same. Savers, we have a Savers in our town. They do the same sort of thing. Um, picked up some zip bags. Again, a pound or two pounds, I can't remember. For 18 bags, you pay a lot more than that at the grocery store. And these are the ones with the zip on the top, which we prefer because they're just easier to open and close. Um, than the snap seal ones or the Thai ones, which I don't like at all. So those, um, what else have we got in here? Um, just while we were at it, uh, another, a new pack of four toothbrushes. We just try to keep one of these packs in the cupboard. That way there's always a clean new toothbrush, either for when one of us is ready to change over, or like if one of Caleb's friends stayed and forgot their toothbrush, which happened, didn't it? Last time William stayed, he forgot his toothbrush. So we had a clean, fresh one to give him. So um, we just like to keep those in. And these are Colgate ones, four pack for a pound. Can't beat that. Um, some of those milk straws, again, favorite for Caleb um, with a glass of milk. Um, they had the chocolate and the strawberry and he just picked the strawberry this time. So they were a pound for six. Um, 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 um. Picked up a couple of notebooks, because I use notebooks for everything, and um, my one I use to write my shopping list down, I'm just using the last pages of that, so this is an ideal one for that, where I can just tear the page out once I've done with the shopping list, and then a little notebook to just jot other things down in, whatever I decide I want to jot down, you never know. Um, and then... Some head and shoulders. I've had a really itchy scalp line around the bottom and back of my, where my scalp and my neck meet. Never had it before. I've never had itchy scalp, never had dandruff, but this has become really itchy. It started off with one little spot and now it's all the way across. And I've noticed if I wear something dark colored, I can spot the little flakes from it on my collar. Um, so I've got some head and shoulders to try. I've never needed to use it, but obviously it's the, it's the classic one. Um, so we will give that a try and see if that um, helps. If not, eventually I'll probably have to get somebody to take a look at it to figure out what's going on. And then just a little pot of bottle of hand sanitizer just to keep in my purse or in my handbag. Um, Caleb has to have hand sanitizer at football practice. We're about to start rugby next week and I'm sure that the same will apply for that. Um, he might even need to take one to school, I don't know, or whether it might be provided at school. So 
Um, I've just picked up an extra one just to have one in the bag. And then whenever I go to Poundland, I always have to buy a Poundland bag. And today we got a hugger pug, which <laughs> just was really quite cute, with the little pug puppies on it. And then I went into Ryman Stationery Store after I bought those two books at Poundland. And I bought me a pucker pad, which are my favourite notebooks. Um, this one I will probably actually use for the shopping list because I find it ideal for that. It is quite big, but I can get the whole list, everything we need on one page, um, separated out by the different sections of the store, which is how I like to write my list. Um, so I picked up one of those and then I picked up a cash um, one just to, I've been keeping on a, our budget on an, um, like a spreadsheet. Um, but I find I, I don't always get to it to fill it out. Whereas if I've got a budget book, I'm more likely to sit when I'm sitting in the evening and just update it with anything from that day. Um, so I want to try to get into the habit of doing that. And then it might trigger me back for in the new year when I do a new budget to get back into the habit of doing it online again. Because at the moment it's like having to remember what's paid out, what's not paid out, what's still to go. So. I'm just trying to get a bit better, a bit more organised at that. So that was our mega haul of everything we picked up today. A good shopping trip. You know, sometimes you come home from a shopping trip and think, you know, I didn't really get anything or didn't have anything I wanted or couldn't find anything. That definitely was not the case for us today. We found plenty. Um, the only thing we still need to get is rugby boots, which the sports store did not have any rugby boots in in Caleb sizes so we need to look online see if we can find a pair um, to get here for next weekend um, but yeah thank you for joining us for this uh, mega Primark Poundland Debenhams Ryman the shoe shop whatever that was called and Clark's Hall um, and we hope you are all well and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon